Hello everyone. Welcome to Kavation Engineering YouTube channel. Okay, so today I took a new lesson. I mean, actually it is not a new lesson. So it is regarding AT chapter 27, flight control, section two, pitch, lesson number two, elevator, server control, operation and components. All right, so uh, if you still not watch the previous video regarding uh, flight control section two pitch, uh, I will uh, I will put the card uh, this in this uh, video in the top. You can see top uh, right corner. You can see uh, you can click this uh, card and you can watch the first video and then come to watch this video. Then you will have a better uh, knowledge about this. All right. So uh, if you are a newcomer, uh, this is. Uh, second lesson so you have so many lessons you can go to my channel and you can watch these lessons so uh, if you're new come and don't forget to subscribe share this video and like after finish this video you can if you're interested and if you got some knowledge please like this video and also share with your friends and relatives this uh, video all right so uh, now we will go to the lesson right so this is the uh, 80 chapter 27 flight control section 2 pitch lesson number 2 elevator server control operation and components all right let's go all right so the continues uh the first one we i'm going to talk about active mode and the second one uh damping mode and the third one recentering mode and fourth uh the components i'm going to describe about the components all right okay so let's go to the overview okay this is the the schematic diagram okay so the purpose of this module is to enable you to describe uh, the elevator server uh, control operation right elevator server control operation so from the simple word how the airbus elevator is working so i'm going to explain you how the airbus elevator is working through this uh, diagram okay so this is the diagram you can see this is a web here right so these are the computers elac2 elac1 so i i describe about elac1 elac2 in the previous lesson you can check it so this is the sec one two all right so these are the solenoid valves right uh okay all right this is the actuator all right so let's go all right uh right the first one is the active mode okay active mode so when the elevator server control active uh, actuator is in active mode right so when the serve, elevator server control actuator is in active mode it is pressurized and both solenoid valves are de-energized this is the main point right it means if the elevator server control actuator is in active mode okay active mode it is pressurized and both solenoids okay and both solenoids valves are de-energized okay remember it is not energized this is de-energized so the server valve is controlled by one computer at a time right so the the server valve is controlled by one computer at a time you can see here in this time the server valve is controlled by elac2 right if elac2 fails then it is switched to elac1 all right okay so in this time the solenoid valves in this time the solenoid valves are de-energized right remember in active mode solenoid valves are de-energized and the the so control actuator is pressurized all right so this is in just reminder right the both uh, solenoid valves uh active mode de-energized okay solenoid valve in active mode is de-energized okay you can see that the, the real picture you can see this is the server control uh elevator server control right there i have uh, four server controls right i told you two work from the blue uh, hydraulic system and one is from green and other one is from uh, yellow all right okay so here is the solenoid valves and this is the filter and this is the feedback mechanism and uh, this is the server valve okay this is a server valve this is a server valve and uh, this is the yellow server control uh, uh, actuator all right okay now the damping mode damping mode all right and uh yeah uh, you can see right uh, you can go through this one right uh energize the other server control and this electric two uh right the the command signal is go to the server valve and then it is operated okay and now the damping mode uh in case of computer failure in case of the computer failure the corresponding solenoid band is d in uh, sorry uh, the corresponding solenoid valve is energized okay remember 
in the before in the active mode elect to elect to is uh, okay so then is uh, give the command signal to serval and then normally the uh, the server actuator is working right active but in case of computer failure in case of computer failure okay you can see now the computer is failed the corresponding solenoid valve the corresponding solenoid valve is energized by the other computer okay okay you can see the sec uh, this is the solenoid valve for the sec and the elect one this is the solenoid valve for elect one okay energized by the other computer and uh, elevator server control is in damping mode okay elevator server control now the elevator server control is in damping mode as it is when the actuator is depressurized okay remember so in active mode actuator is uh, pressurized but the solenoid valves are deinterrupted but if one computer is fail right one computer is fail actuator is deenergized and the corresponding uh, solenoid valve is uh, energized okay just remember this one you can see elect one this is go to the active server control server valve okay the, the signals go to the active server control server valve and at this time uh, is go to the corresponding uh, solenoid at this time the serve valve is de-energized okay you can see in this time the serve actuator is energized and in this time the actuator is uh, de-energized right okay you can see solenoid valve energized in which which, which time this is in damping mode okay in uh, active mode uh, solenoid valve is de-energized okay now uh, recentering mode Recentering mode means like how when the elevator server control actuator is recentering, right? Recentering mode, it is pressurized, right? When the elevator server control actuator, okay, this is the elevator server control actuator, is in recentering mode, it is pressurized. Both solenoid valves are DN. When the actuator is energized, oh, sorry, actuator is pressurized, solenoid valves are de-energized and no command signal you can see there's no command signals are provided to the server valve there's no command signals to the provided to the server valve due to the centering device okay due to the this is the centering device okay D due to the uh, the centering device the servo actuator right the server control actuator is maintained hydraulically in it is neutral position okay remember in gray centering mode no electrical signals comes out it is working according to the hydraulic pressure okay it is working according to the hydraulically in it is neutral position okay in it is neutral position that is the recentering mode okay you can see the both solenoid valves de-energized and no servo valves come on. no servo valve come on uh, in this which time that is in recentering mode okay there are three modes active mode damping mode recentering mode remember active mode in this time the actuator is pressurized but uh, the solenoid valves be energized and in damping mode actuator depressurized solenoid valves are energized right and in the recentering mode solenoid valve also de energized and no command signals come out from the computers but the servo valve the actuator is active how active okay but the actuator is pressurized okay that is in the recentering mode all right Okay, now let's go to the components. It's very short lesson, right? Now let's go to the components. Okay, now the first one is elevator server control. Okay, this is the elevator server control unit. Okay, elevator, there are two, I told you. They have two, uh, there are four elevator server control units for both sides, right and left. Uh, so uh, they have one common uh, hydraulic blue is using for one inboard side. Inboard, uh, it means in left hand side, inboard, uh, so actually is controlled by the blue and right hand side in board one is controlled by blue and okay and the uh yeah sorry sorry, sorry. Uh, the inboard one is maintained from the uh, yellow and green and the outboard one is uh, made from uh control from the blue right I, I sorry it's wrong for me i'm sorry outboard is both outboard are, are working through the blue and inboard is blue, uh, yellow and green all right okay so you can see this one um okay this is a critical component okay this is a critical component that precisely manage 
the movement of the elevator surfaces okay movement of the elevator surfaces is controlled by the uh, server controls actuators right this unit ensures smooth and accurate control of the aircraft pitch crucial for safe and stable flight okay all right you can see uh, here is a flight reserve indicator so valve here and centering device uh, rotary variable difference with transfers over there all right uh, the location you can see elevator here you can see this is the location all right now let's go to the elevator control filter here is the elevator control filter you can see the real view this is the elevator control filter this is you can see zoom out this is the elevator control filter so the elevator control hydraulic filter is in a320 elevator server control system is designed to remove contaminants contaminants from the hydraulic fluids that operate the elevator actuators all right so this filter ensures that the hydraulic system remains clean and free of debris preventing potential damage to the actuators and maintain smooth and reliable elevator control all right just remember because sometimes the, the you know the hydraulic system is uh, like uh, circulating system right so closed system so sometimes the debris can contaminate so to uh, prevent the debris come to the actuator uh, that's why we are using uh, filter all right so uh, yeah by effective filtering the hydraulic fluid uh, this component helps ensure safety efficiency and longevity of the airbus a320 elevator servo system all right okay now let's go to the mode selector valve transducer mode selector valve transducer over there right okay you can see that is called the feedback mechanism right okay so uh, in a320 mode selector valve transducer is a critical component that is also critical component with the elevator server control system of the airbus a320 aircraft so this transducer plays a pure uh, pivotal role in translating pilot input okay pilot input from the mode selector panel into electrical signal that control the operation of the elevator servo actuators all right so essentially the mode selector panel allows pilots to choose different flight control modes such as normal low alternate low and direct low okay i i, I discuss about these laws right normal low alternate low direct low you can check out uh, my previous uh, lessons okay I, I talk about this one so the a320 mode selector valve transducer ensures that these selections are accurately converted into the appropriate commands for the elevator servo system all right okay so uh, by converting pilot's mode selections into electrical signal the transducer enables the precise movements of the elevators which are crucial for controlling the pitch of the aircraft during flight so this system enhances the safety and stability of the aircraft remember this system enhances the safety and the stability of the airbus 320 by ensuring that pilot commands are translated accurately and efficiently into the desired aircraft once all right okay yeah uh, now the solenoid valve solenoid valve here are the two solenoid valves okay right yeah here you can see the solenoid valve so the solenoid valves in the a320 elevator server control system regulates the flow of hydraulic fluids to the elevator actuators regulate okay it regulates uh, okay so it opens the and closes the response to electrical signals controlling the movement of the elevators for pitch adjustment during flight so this valve plays a crucial role in enhancing precise and responsive control of the aircraft pitch contributing to the safety and stability of the aircraft 320 okay all right yeah that is the end of this lesson okay i think you got a knowledge about uh, elevator self control system so like active mode and mode recent mode and the components All right so yeah thank you very much for uh, participating in this lesson so this is the second lesson in pitch so the next lesson i will going to teach you uh, ths actuator operation under pitch section 2 so stick with the kvation engineering youtube channel uh, don't forget to subscribe if you still not subscribed please subscribe so it will it will motivate me so then i will make more lessons because you know uh, this is actually the education channel so this is not like a funny or entertainment or something 
so actually this i made for this channel for you to get knowledge actually the people who like for the aircraft so before you go to the college or before you become technician or mechanic or engineer you can watch these videos and you can get a rough idea and you have you will have some knowledge so before you're going to start your uh, maintenance uh, aircraft maintenance career so that's why i made this one so just share these videos with someone who like to learn about aircraft maintenance and don't forget to subscribe i know uh, until now 1620 subscribers i have so thank you uh, thank you so much uh, for these subscribe subscriptions so i know i know the people want this kind of channel uh, the world need this kind of channel then they can have more uh, knowledge all right okay uh, thank you again um, share these videos with your friends and uh, stick with uh, kvation engineering for the next lesson have a good day for all of you